and I'm 19 years old. About a year ago, I went to this party with some friends, including my best friend, Cassie. Someone brought some homemade ice to the party and a few of us tried it for the first time. Everyone got smashed because we're all planning on crashing there for the night. It was fun. All the alcohol even gave me the courage to tell the guy out, Mike, that I liked him. And he said he liked me too. And he said that he liked me for a long time. So, you know, one thing led to another and we hooked up. One of the girls there, I didn't really know her. She was taking some of the ice for the first time and had a bad reaction to it. She wouldn't stop vomiting and started saying things were there that really weren't. We decided to drive her to the hospital. No one thought to call it triple zero. I was chosen to drive with Mike in the front and Cassie in the back with the sick girl. I don't really remember what happened after that. The next thing I know, I woke up in the hospital. We'd crashed into a tree on the way to the hospital. Cassie was dead. Mike lost his leg because it got crushed by the car. He's hated me ever since then. The sick girl died. They couldn't save her. My spinal cord got seven. Now I'm in a wheelchair. I really miss my best friend. The website. My name's Jack. I'm 21 years old. A while back I was invited to a barbecue at a mate's place the day before my little sister's birthday. I was allowed to go and all, but my dad wanted me back at least by 11. I told him no problems and got a ride to the barbecue with a group of the guys. We had a good time, drinking and stuff. Anyway, it got later and my mates asked if I wanted to stay a bit longer to do some ecstasy. It wasn't close to 11 yet, so I said, yeah, sure. It got later and I lost track of time. At around 1 in the morning, I realised how late it was and got a ride home with one of the guys who was still sober. When I got home, my dad was waiting for me and he went off at me. Well, I was smashed, so I started a fight with him. It was loud, woke up my mind, sis. It got worse, the screaming got louder, sis was crying. I ended up blasting my dad. Almost did permanent damage. He kicked me out after that. I've been living at friends' places, but mostly on the street for about six months now. I really miss my little sis. <laughs> How would you feel if you had been through something like this? Would you have done the same thing? Mel thought that if they didn't go out, they wouldn't have to worry about being drunk. But the alcohol still affected their thought patterns. The combination of the alcohol and the homemade drugs, or just the drugs themselves, was the cause of the whole incident. No one thought of calling triple zero. No one thought that they shouldn't drive. No one was thinking straight. Would you want to be accountable for two major injuries and two deaths? Jack made the choice to put himself under the influence of drugs and alcohol, even though he had responsibilities. This stopped him from thinking straight. If he had been thinking straight, maybe he wouldn't have started the fight. Would you want to be the reason for your family to fall apart? Do you think this could happen to you? Would you do the same things? Would you risk hurting your family and friends like this? Will you think about every possibility before you make a choice? Or are you not thinking straight too?